Um, let's go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Screw the drama. Let's see these two teams fight. One last ride for one of these teams, and the other drops from the playoffs. To Mobile Legends. Welcome to Game 5. It's Aurora MLBB versus Team Liquid Philippines. And after that, let's just say, forgettable Game 4, we now have a draft that's stretching from both sides. And the Matilda first pick onto the blue side really needs to pay off here for Aurora. Renny J has to be somewhat like Perks, aggressive, but they'll not just be defensive. Of course, like, like game number four, what happened with the, the Minotaur. Again, you can't blame them because Carl Dean had the Suyo. They were aggressive as possible. So let's see how this falls out. Renny is number one in first blood draw among all roamers. Among all roamers. So if anything, Perks had to watch Renny J. Literally the hit map. Play this Matilda. Find me a more fitting nickname for such a rover, for such an MLBB talented superstar. Yeah, literally, he also sings, you know. By the way, that song, so literal superstar for Aurora needs to shine bright. Yeah, like, <laughs> you as well sing. Go ahead, Hey, here we go. <laughs> Big engagement again. Maybe on Khalid. I, I think our uh, analysts mentioned this is the first Khalid playoff. Great way to tempo break Aurora. And you can see in the rotations of Liquid how they're playing aggressively. I guess this is their tempo. Yeah. But again, I do like to point out what the final has mentioned that Demon Bank Alpha is a good counter. Oh, okay. so, but right now they're going to get the Alpha. That comes ah! to three and JP draws the first blood. Okay, he's saying right now that I too, as a rover, can rock a first blood. I mean, he's Daddy JP. And he's a colleague. He's, he's disciplining all these young bloods. He's been doing this since even before the World Championship was a thing. Did you know that? Yes. You know that? JP was part of the first team sent out to beat Malaysia. Here we go, Colonel Zach. This is why it's better if he shows. Okay, Edward goes in for the penalty zone, but Kong easy gets the turn, though. McClack is doing it right now. Kong easy might fall down. Demon Kai's gonna fall down as well. A jungle for a jungle when JP goes in. A flicker's out, but sad for it, though. Yanked up by three members of Aurora. That's a two for one trade. But TLTH gets the turtle. Liquid may have pulled away sooner than the rest of them expected. But Aurora punished hard. Now we're at deadlock, two and two. And yes, that was a bloody turtle. At the cost of a Carl Easy and Sanford. But we're back to business here. Looking at Aurora's build right now. Uh, I assume that's uh, Starlium Cypher stuff for Dolby. Yeah, yeah, for that. Yeah, and right now looking at the OTH, you know that the power spike of Akali is really five minutes in. And we try to work on him. He does get, cast a Raging Sandstorm to make sure uh, there's no kill onto Aurora. So, TLPH, we all know whenever you pick a Khalid, you want to be as aggressive as possible That's in right. the early game, first five minutes. Try to disrupt the rotation of the jungle. If you can get a purple buff or an orange buff, that would be great. But TLPH needs also to instill discipline. Because they have a Renna J Matilda that could easily go out and counter engage again when Edward has his penalty zone. For sure, and you know the whole Fulvius Harry situation with Dominic and Sanford that only comes into play later on. Yes. So you wait for that to kick in before you gauge your aggression. So it's a difficult uh, balancing act for Daddy JP, but then again, this is a world champion and MDL champion. MVP also, by See, the way. The, the, Finals MVP. JP can do it, but against a five-man stack like Aurora, easier said than done. Imagine Aurora, debuting team newly assembled, has a chance to oh. bring down the defending champions for this game number five. It possibly their worst season yet. Yeah. Maybe only as bad as when Echo debuted to the nine. Second turtle already up, three quarters of its health in. JP and Carl up front to more to form on the Suyu. Okay, again, this is for Suyu. Can easily get the turtle? Who's at the fridge? Wow. It's Blazer. Rolling's gonna get the turtle and the kill onto Carl. TT. The next target is JP. Has a quick sandstorm, but Edward goes in with the penalty zone. Next target, Sanford. They really want to go right after him. He's fighting for over Suyu. He's not gonna break down Demon Clan. And he gets a triple kill. Sanford and then answers with a kill. But look at this! A trade for a trade! Blow for blow! And Edward! It's a wipeout! It's a wipeout! It's a wipeout! But there's a pride! The pride of ice! But Edward!
What does he care? The it's a wipeout. Wipeout for Aurora. Liquid may have overstayed their welcome. This is the this is the same paradox. This is the same problem we told you about the puzzle that Liquid have to work with. Yes, we should be aggressive in the early. But when are we ready? When does that actually pay off? Yeah. And again, Aurora, this is what they were missing in game number four. The aggression, the confidence to dictate the game, to go in, to full commit. In that sequence, they weren't afraid to go in. Aurora, after game four, in the opening minutes of game five, they woke up. They is awake. They awake. They're now ready to go head to head with the defending champions. Again, we have to commend Edward with a beautiful penalty. So, despite the frigid glacier of Sanji actually connecting to a lot of the members of Aurora, they still save that penalty zone for the counter attack. And now, the delayed payoff, the conversion from Aurora. They took this patiently, and they've now demolished the very first turret of the game. Quick look at the items. You can see the story of Saif and the, oh wow, the Feather of Heaven already built up on Doming. While you can see here, Benny Curie slightly behind. Yeah, yeah, you can expect this again, this is a Harriet, this fight. Uh, that's what makes it more better, or more outstanding, or just Doming. More impressive. Is more impressive there. Because there's, there's a focus on the opposing team, and despite that, you're still able to do that. You haven't died yet on 0-4, you've even got the turtle, as Aurora works on the turtle stage. Let's see it now. Carl got it still. Got it still. But at the cost of so much, Aurora are bullying them. Yeah, he's you're sending them back even in their own jungle, JP! You're even forcing JP to use a raging sandstorm defensively to escape. That's not a good sign if your TLB agent Aurora works on the mid lane turret and they will bring it down successfully. So many picks from Liquid should be doing better against Aurora. But the synergy and the the amount of nowhere aggression that Aurora are showing is taking Liquid off of their footing. Yeah, and the catalyst for me, fourth side of Aurora is really Edward. Uh, out of nowhere, the flicker penalty zone connecting on to two, plus the aggressive Matilda again of Renegade. It's, it's enough to push 40, Carl Deasy out of a bush, and that already ruins Liquid's approach. Yeah, it was enough to force JP to use the Raging Sandstorm to back off defensively. And that's a non-starter! Carl D is here, finally built up his war axe, but he's no longer as ever present in his jungle. Because again, these bushes are infested with roar of embers in that human. Even kind in that orange buff bush. They're marking their territories. They're saying this is ours. You can't just randomly walk into a bush without having that sense of urgency of what if there's one member of Aurora there. And what's difficult is Sanchez has to throw out a skill to check and this is a mid-range mage you're looking at the aurora so she could as well have popped her passive and then only then does liquid have full information even benny cutie sure you could throw out a random skill but you're at risk of forced to, being forced to use your purify and retro so right now the name of the game for tlc as possible extend the game Try to back on the fact that have Benny that at any given moment towards the late game can deliver a huge Benny bomb with the Nata. And Aurora knows that that's why they're trying to go for the Lord right away. Here we go, Lord now less than half health! Again, the penalty zone coming in from Edward. The be retribution battle, but they're forcing Carl Deasy out of the picture as Demon Kite gets the Lord! No casualties, but Aurora extending their lead to 3k plus the Lord. It's not even a contest. There was no retry battle. Carl Deasy couldn't even get in range of a fully charged Queller. That's how hard it was for Liquid to break through. But there was a long slow push down bottom by Benny Fury. So there's some consolation there for the Cavalry. 3k ahead, Aurora sitting at about nine minutes and a half. It's difficult. Uh, there's nothing Aurora's letting Liquid through. Whether defensively or offensively, Liquid have to play to Aurora. Yeah, they're really reactive right now. And uh, as much as possible, if Sanji 
gets a huge frigid glacier to the tobacco plus that's not purify. That could easily turn things around to kill pH. But with the way Aurora is playing, it's hard to even land a frigid glacier. Exactly, because again, the whole casting animation of the frigid glacier is enough of a window for Aurora to reposition. Yeah. Especially they have Ren and J. Kevin the Matilda guiding when is more than that enough. That too! That too! Okay, so Lord marching in the bottom lane. Low health though, so they're easily gonna burn it down. So the holy shields will be popped in the bottom lane. And let's see if Aurora will force something out again. Edward has been doing wonders with the flicker penalty zone, but discipline will instill for Aurora. Legend Zero has been phenomenal on this Terizla. In the recent weeks, that isn't actually uh, slowed down in his appearances. Not for Edward. Right here, right now, this is the key pick. This is the game changer for Aurora MODB. Looking at the items right now, about 800, 700 between the Benny and the Roman. And, all right, say what you will about Carl Tizi struggling, but at least his farm is still slightly higher. Yeah. But is that enough, though? Is, is, is that what you need? As the Suyu, he just built his Sea Halberd. Is that going to be enough to pop Renegade? At this point, that's better. That's not the worst situation. It's more than... I see, it's I see nice. the worst situation already. What's the worst situation? Sanji. Oh. Say, sure, all right? Best case scenario, you catch people with the Frigid Glacier. But what does that do? It just freezes them. Yeah. Okay. So he doesn't have damage right now. He's on his way to Holy Crystal, but how far away is he? So, so if that's the case, if the frigid glacier doesn't land, so what will Sanji do? Exactly. Next? What's the next part for TLPH? Bottom four. The way Aurora's playing effectively disabled Sanji. The this, contributing. This is not the Sanji we're used to seeing. It's not the mid lane genius. It's not the mid lane genius. They're really having a hard time with how Aurora has been playing. And now, so at this point, how do you extend the game if you're TLPH? What do you do? Do you try to go contest for the neutral objectives like the Lord? Or will you just try and uh, take a page from Omega's book and just defend and defend until eventually Benny QD is able to deliver a huge red ball? I'll say it's the latter. This is the right move in the right direction. The fact that Liquid just allowed Aurora to take this Lord, despite the uh, soft you said there. Because there's no way Liquid can break through that. So, best case scenario, they get enough farm on Sanji, they get enough farm on Benny, and then they defend inside the base. I, that's that's the best case scenario I've seen right now. Because even with Demon Cat at 0, 3, and 4, yeah. he's playing Utility Alpha right now. He doesn't need kills. He doesn't need to. It, it, it's all literally on Edward, Doming, and Yue. Yue. He's literally a boss, sorry. That, that, that's why a Renegade, uh, you can enable Renegade to be as aggressive as possible because Demon Guide's eventually oh. gonna soak up the damage. If Renegade is in trouble, rest assured Demon Guide will just pop the Spear of Alpha. I'd reckon if it makes it to that point, if Sanford gets his de-ice before everything is just upside down for them, maybe there's a chance. Because something tells me if there's an appeal for Liquid, then maybe Aurora's forward aggression could stop. Yeah, let's see if it's even going to reach up to that point because the Lord will eventually burst down in him inhibitor down bottom. Benny QT doing his best to clear out the Lord here. They still have their holy shields in the middle lane. Minions up top for Aurora. He's doing his darndest and it seems to be enough. The wave up top cleared, another one in mid, and the Lord has been slain. Okay, Edward goes in with a penalty, so here comes the Frigid Glacier connecting on to 3JP though. Sanji has to walk away, no casualties yet for JLPH. But Dororo just out sustaining oh. the damage, the Pride of Ice will be casted and Domek will break down Sanji. That's one member down, Aurora on the verge of taking down the defending champions. Flicker still up. Battle spells and ults, now JP's in trouble! Domek with a huge blow! And we are moments away from witnessing a defense!